Welcome back, King's Kids. This coming Sunday, we are going to talk about Holy Week, or the last week that Jesus was on this earth before he was crucified. So this coming Sunday, that's what our lesson is going to be about. One of the things we're going to talk about during that lesson is called the crown of thorns. And I know most of you have seen this before, but for those of you that have not, we are going to make a special snack this week. And we're going to make a crown of thorns bread. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. And then that way, if you want to make it this next week leading up until Easter, you would have a snack that you can make with your family that goes along with our lessons and what we're going to be talking about. So if you would like to see how to make a crown of thorns bread, join me in my kitchen. All right, so we are here in my kitchen and we are going to make a crown of thorns bread. Okay. So to get started, you can either make your own bread dough or you can just buy already made dough. That's what I did with this. And you just unroll it and separate it into three pieces. And then you're gonna like roll your pieces to where you've got three separate pieces when you're done, okay? Now, some of you that like to bake, if you want to make homemade bread dough, you can do that. Uh, I cheat because this is easy, and I've done it for years now, and the kids like the taste of it. So, we've always just used pizza crust, and you can use the Pillsbury brand, or you can use the Great Value, which is what I have here. The kids like both. This is what my son grabbed at the store for me, so this is what we're using today. So once you have your dough into three separate pieces, you're basically just going to braid it, okay? And if you're wondering what that is, that's just egg, like you do for scrambled eggs, that's gonna be our egg wash oh. at the end. So you're gonna take your ends up here and just kind of overlap them and then just give them a good twist just to kind of keep them all together up there for you while you try to braid okay now if you don't know how to braid braiding is very easy but um moms those of you can help your kids braid you're just going to braid it just like you would if it was hair okay just like you would if you're braiding somebody's hair all crossing over crossing over and it will stretch on you a little bit I kind of like mine to stay real puffy but if you end up getting your dough warm and it's really long that's okay it, it doesn't matter once you get to the end you're gonna do the same thing just keep braiding until you're at the end and you're gonna do kind of like your twist again just to make sure those ends stay together and then all you have to do is twist it around and make a circle. Now, a lot of times the at the beginning we don't get it real tight, so you can go back and you can flip your paint around and you can braid the bottom one again just so it's a little bit tighter. But it really doesn't matter because we know this is going to look pretty, but we know that the crown of thorns that was on Jesus' head was not pretty. So, once you've got your braid, you just shape it into a circle like a crown. And then again, you're just going to kind of do your little pinch it together, roll it, how, whatever you want to do to make it stick together. So that when you're done, it looks like a circle or a pretty crown. Okay? And that's when your egg wash comes in. And brush it real good, like get all the little cracks let it go all over the outside. Once you have your egg wash on and it's ready for the oven, you can go ahead and pop it in the oven. We'll do that and let it bake while I read you the scriptures for today's lesson. Our scripture for today comes from Luke chapter 22 
verses 63 through 65. And it says, And the men that held Jesus mocked him and smote him. When they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote you? And many other things blasphemously spake they against him. This was a time that Jesus was being hit and punched and his beard pulled and was going through all of that pain and humiliation for us. And they had put a crown of thorns on his head and gave him a stick to put in his hand like a scepter that a king would have. And they put a robe on him and they were trying to make it like he was the king and they were worshiping him. The problem is we know he is the king and we can worship him, but they were doing it to make fun of Jesus because they were mockingly saying, Oh, if you're so smart, if you're the king, if you know everything, if you're God, then even though you're blindfolded, you should know who hit you. So they were just doing this to mock Jesus. They weren't doing this to actually bow down and worship him like they should have been doing. So make sure that you watch our lesson on Sunday at 11.15 a.m. while we talk about the week before Jesus was crucified. We're going to talk about a lot of things that happened during that week. And one of those things is the crown of thorns. And so that's why we made our crown of thorns snack for today. After about 20 minutes with your oven at 350 degrees, this is what we've come up with. This is our crown. Now, like I said, you can see at the top, mine was starting to come apart a little bit. That's okay. Remember we said this was not pretty. Now, it looks pretty right there. However, the reason we have these pretzels is these are our thorns. So you have to put them in while the bread is warm. So if you can use these there. These are a little bit fatter than ones that I've used before. You can use the really little skinny ones if you want. But remember we said the thorns were really, really long and they were probably sticking out the ends and poking into Jesus' head. So now you can just stab in your pretzel sticks while your bread is still warm and that will give you your thorns. So now, although it kind of still looks pretty, it's definitely not pretty with thorns sticking in it. But it's a really good snack and it'll help you remember all that Jesus went through just for you. So now you have crown of thorns bread. And if you come to class, this is what we're gonna have for snack. So as you enjoy eating your crown of thorns bread this week, remember that Jesus did not enjoy having these thorns shoved into his head and then getting hit on the head with sticks. But he did it for me and he did it for you. So I hope you have time to make it with your family sometime this week. I'll catch you next time around.